Hey y'all, I'm Senator Holly Rader from Southeast Missouri. This week was very fast paced in the Missouri Senate. We started off with having two of our bills heard in committee. So we heard our bill on homelessness, and that is the bill that we passed last year, but the Supreme Court struck it down saying that the, the bill was not germane to the underlying bill title that it was attached to. So a bunch of legal mumbo jumbo. However, it does mean that we have to get it passed again. So we did hear that in committee. Where the current policies are not working. Our homelessness is growing. We must do more to help people. It is inhumane to allow someone to sleep on the street when it is 10 degrees outside. What this bill does is it allows our, our homeless operations, like a 24-hour shelter, to start getting bonused for folks that they help get a job, get into um, long-term mental health services, get up on their own feet and are doing well and, and really making it in society, instead of the way that we've done it up until now, which is giving, um, you know, however many people that come through that you help. So we think there, sh there's, there needs to be some type of matrix showing that you're actually helping people get into um, stabilized on their own feet and into um, a healthy, happy lifestyle. This bill couples short-term housing for the homeless with mental health help because when you have 75, studies show that you have 75% of our homeless are in a um, mental health crisis, 75% are um, in substance use, and so addiction. And so with that, we are not, just by putting someone in housing first is not helping what the issue is, what, what their, what the core problem is. What we believe and what has been shown now to work over the last two or three years is short-term housing help coupled with mental health services. So that's what we're really trying to do with this hom homelessness bill. Heard it in committee this week, hope to get that out. We also had a great press conference on our bill to end child marriage. Things were so different 50 years ago, you know, when, when our grandmothers were marrying at 14 or 15 and the debates that have happened in this, in this state house in past years. Women have so much more opportunity now, so much more opportunity for education, for prosperity. We do not need to hamstring our girls. And it, is, it, it takes women across the aisle to fight for this. Right now, Missouri, you can get married with a parent signature if you're 16 or 17. We were able to change that a few years ago where it was um, much younger. I got married at 15. Um, it's important for our girls. We need to wait until 18. Marriage should be between two consenting adults. So hopefully, several states have passed this, I believe 11, and hoping to make Missouri the next state and hoping to get that done this year. We also had our hearing on our sex trafficking and child exploitation bill. And that's the bill that has come out of the interim committee that I was on to find out why Missouri has such poor numbers when it comes to across the nation, when it comes to sex trafficking and child exploitation. We had this interim committee that brought in folks from all disciplines to say, okay, what are other states doing that we're not? How can we do this better? One of the things that we found is we're so fragmented across the state in the different efforts with, with policing, with the AG's office, with the different um, folks that help in these areas, help get girls or anyone out of these situations and into a safe place. It was just so fragmented. So one of the things that we're doing is we're pulling it all together into a department under the Attorney General's office. And also just changing some of the terms throughout statute so that those are, are gonna be consistent and our prosecutors can prosecute. It's a really important bill and, and I feel like it was widely received in committee. I feel like we're gonna be able, as soon as, as soon as we get back, we're gonna be able to get that brought up on the floor and to move forward. So that, that was pretty much this week. It's been interesting. Um, the highlight uh, of the, the whole week, 
getting those bills moving is incredibly important, but we did get our education reform bill out of the Senate. So that, that was finished today, sent over to the House, and I'll be sure to give you more details about that in the coming weeks.